look, bro. We don't care if you put a fucking shirt on or not. How about that? Why don't you go fuck off and explode? Seriously. Who was that? Was that, um, what's his name? Uh, Real Kato. You get, you go put on the shirt. Oh no. That was wrong here. No, everything's okay. I don't know. Sometimes. JPC Mitch, go take care of your children. JPC Mitch and all these young girls on him just really make me want to lie. Because they got children and they're not with a man. And how can you have children and not be with a man? And fuck you, big nib. Why don't you come lick my pussy and make me fucking bumble like a bee? And maybe I won't fucking mumble anymore. Well, Ned, let me tell you something. If anybody saw your fucking ugly fucking old ass fucking face, wrinkled up dick, and nasty ass fucking skank ass whore dog piece of shit life that you live, you couldn't even supply a puppy dog with water. You poor, broke, busted, and disgusted, low-life motherfucker. And you want to come at me, you skunk bitch? You better back up and punt, motherfucker. Seriously. I don't know, man. Fun. Um, you're my stinky feet. <laughs> no, let me look. This week is stinky feet. I don't know. They probably look as bad as they smell. You don't love the Lord. I love my mama, and I love my daddy. That's good enough. God ain't never done nothing for me. He's left me in the rain many a day. Fuck you, Zod. I seriously don't even know how I keep holding on. Because I've been alone so long that I'm capable of doing anything with nothing at this point. And you people just want to keep on blah, 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 blah. Make fun. Vicky, you are my sunshine. I'm my favorite caster here. 
And if it wasn't for battle camp, I wouldn't have anybody to talk to. And before battle camp, I didn't have anybody to talk to for about a long time. I read books. I put puzzles together. I can show you them. I'm not lying. I raised a family. I stayed married to a man that didn't love me. Still don't. I don't know why he takes care of me to this day. I reckon he feels sorry for me and I'm glad he does. Because if he didn't, I'd probably be dead. And I'm just really thankful for the little blessings that I get in my life. And I don't care what y'all think of me. You know, I used to, when I first came on this fucking place, I used to worry about what everybody was going to think of me. I was so blessed. When I first came up, I thought I was going to fucking hit the roof that I had someone to talk to. So I, I said my name and how old I was and where I was from. And I went off the fucking deep end, man. I was like, oh, my God, this is who I am. I worked all my life. Well, I said all my life till I was 37, 38. And I really tried to do what I could do in my life. And I gave everybody the best that I had. But the one person that I gave the ultimate love to was Bruce. And I felt. I felt really bad. And the motherfucker still loves me. And I'm not worthy of any of it. Not an ounce of it. Not even a quarter of it. He was raised, listen, he was raised better than me. He came from a family that didn't have to kill their food out in the backyard. Didn't have to wipe their ass in an outhouse. And sure didn't have to hang their clothes on a fucking clothes on. He was fancy. To me, he was. I remember when I met Bruce, I couldn't believe that his radio in his truck didn't have static on the radio. I said, why doesn't the radio have static on the radio? And he looked at me and said, what? And I said, why doesn't the radio have static on it? And he just looked at me. 